vacuum tank operation and draw off process for changing the pump stool fluid. First, you take off the front cover. Closing the pulse unit. Take the pulse unit out next, place it in the vise, and close. Once the plug is out, next you adjust the Allen screw counterclockwise to the minimum. Next we put in the syringe and extract all the oil. Okay. Take the syringe out and turn the cam a few turns to release any fluid that might be left in the tool. Okay. Put the syringe back in and draw off out the rest of the fluid. Now you're ready to put in the false tool unit in the fill tank. Making sure that the tank is all the way to the top, place the false tool unit into the tank, and now you're ready to put the lid back on to extract all the air fluid out that may be left. Making sure all the clamps are tight down. Now you're ready to turn on the pump, but first you gotta make sure the clamp, your valve is closed so you can build up pressure. Turn the pump on. Making sure the valve gauge gets up to 28 to 30 psi. Once it reaches 28 to 30 psi, we count 30 seconds. Once the 30 seconds is completed, next we're going to lower the postal unit into the fluid. Next, we're going to count for two minutes to wait until all the fluid gets filled back up into the false unit. Once that's accomplished, we turn the pump off. Release the valve. To release the pressure from the tank. When the tank reaches zero, you're now ready to take the false tube unit out. Raise the unit back up, pull it from the top, wipe off the excess oil from the unit, put it back in the vise and draw out the recommended amount of fluid for that false unit. Plug back in. Now you're ready to adjust the tool to reach the torque value you're trying to accomplish.